The topic of today's video is multi-panel and how to do that in CAM 350 and DFM stream. I'm going to load up one design here and we want to panelize this with a couple other designs. So we're going to use the merge command in CAM 350 and DFM stream to merge in the other designs that we want to use, and we can multi-select in this window. We want to be able to map the layers from the incoming designs to the existing design, and there's a couple different ways to do that. You can simply just go in and choose them here. There's some options like doing it by number. Of course, you do want to go and make sure that, that all of the layers are uh, mapped correctly. If not, then you can always change those in here. And once you've done that, it'll ask you just to place it. That's just a placement holder. It doesn't really matter where you put it um, for this stage of the, uh, the multi-panel. Then I've got my second one here. Now this one's interesting because this is a four layer, whereas we started with a six layer. So what I'm going to do is map the two um, innermost planes to the negative planes on the existing designs and the layers in between just simply become uh, blank. Everything else looks correct. We'll go ahead and do the uh, drill there. Okay, and we'll just drop this down. Now we're going to use the uh, Merge Panel Wizard to go ahead and create our panel. Uh, there's some parameters that you can preset in here, like your standard panel sizes and how much margin you want uh, on your panels, uh, whether you want to center the images, and any distance between. You can also set a goal as far as utilization here as well. Um, you can come in and enter the number of each board and any extras you'd like to see on each uh, each board in the uh, panel. So let's just say we want at least five of that one. And we'll go with a couple extra, and maybe we want uh, three of those with a couple extra. And maybe we want five of the smaller board here. You notice you get a little preview here uh, with uh, you know, pretty much as much as we can um, extra on that. When we hit next, it'll show us the best utilization and it'll show us the parameters that it came up with for that utilization. That looks pretty good, so why don't we go ahead with that. Uh, we'll hit finish. The software will now go out and panelize and uh, we have our panel. Now the last step here, of course, is if you wanted to take this into a panel and maybe add some venting or theming patterns to it, you can do that. You can just go off into the uh, panel editor here in, uh, again, DFM Stream or CAM 350. Uh, let's turn on the view of the uh, actual images there just so we can see them. And then we'll go into setup and we'll enter that same panel size. It was an 18 by 24. And, uh, We'll go over to create and it'll show us how it's going to center them in there. All the other parameters are already set there. We hit create and it's created our panel. And as I mentioned before, if we want to add something like venting to our panel, we can go ahead and do that. Maybe add a rubber bar uh, one inch around. Uh, we'll just add that to the top layer for right now. We'll redraw on that. And then maybe some venting itself or some thieving. So we'll offset that a little bit from the images and any symbols that we've added. Uh, we really haven't talked about symbols, but that is a possibility in here as well. Uh, dot pattern, you can, of course, set the parameters of the dot pattern. Again, we'll just add it to the outer layer. And redraw. And OK. And here we have our multi-panel panelization in CAM 350.